Hey folks, so I just want to make a follow-up to my last video and I guess uh, complete the install in this Game Boy. Uh, when I had started the install in the last one, I really only wanted to like test fit things. I wanted to get a feel for how everything was going together and I didn't really want to fully commit to the build until I was sure that I wanted to to go that route and well, I guess this is part two of that video. So. I've been playing with it for a few days now. This is, of course, if you couldn't tell by the title, the new Funny Playing IPS GBA screen. And the verdict, I'm thinking so far, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing in this game, but the verdict so far is that I really like this screen. Um, and for probably 90% of the games that I play, it's 100% fine. Um, yeah, sure, there's a little bit of screen tearing here and there, and especially on transitions or uh, occasionally some odd element in the uh, on the screen. Um, but for every single game except for Pokemon, I think it is 100% perfectly fine, perfectly usable. Now, my issue with Pokemon is, and I've made a GIF of this, I, I put it out there, but you can kind of see... The bottom left and the top right aren't always the same. There's kind of like a, a, a jiggly, I guess, um, like if you do some Google searching for jelly scrolling, you'll see something like that. Uh, but, and yes, I am still on that boss. I haven't gotten very far since last time. But that's my only issue. Everything else, completely fine. Um, so I want to, tonight, get to this. I've seen some people looking at this thing going, what the hell is this? What do you use it for? This is something that comes with the screen kit. And I've heard some people say, oh, it's uh, for the lens. You stick it on the lens. Um, and so you can stick the lens to the Game Boy Advance housing. Uh, but that's not what this is for. The lens already comes with uh, adhesive pre-applied. This thing, if you were, uh, if you've taken apart a Game Boy before, which you probably have if you're considering this funny playing screen here. Uh, here we go. You've probably seen one of these on one of your screens, this little sticky gasket here. Um, this is an original item from Nintendo that comes on all of their Game Boy consoles. Uh, on Game Boy Color, it's a it's, ooh, sorry. Game Boy Color, it's this clear little nonsense here, but um, it has two jobs. The first is that it holds the LCD in place on the console itself. The second is that it provides a seal between the screen and, or excuse me, between the LCD and the housing so that you don't get dust inside. Now, obviously, it's not a perfect system because sometimes dust still gets in there. But, um, you know, it works pretty darn good, and it's super cheap, relatively speaking. I mean, they, they made millions of these things, so they probably did the math on that. But anyway, most backlight solutions for the uh, Game Boy Advance don't really have an equivalent, I guess. Um... So the idea is you just try and clean your Game Boy as best as possible and uh, hope that you don't get any dust inside. Um, as I'm sure some of you know, that doesn't always work. And occasionally you'll get dust, you'll have to take it apart, clean it up, and bitch and moan about it the whole time. But, hopefully, this changes that. One of the nice things about the screen being so stupid thin is that you know there, there's plenty of room if you want to try stuff out for instance use this sticky gasket here so I don't know if this works on a centered install or a uh, offset install because the lens itself was shipped the lens that shipped with this kit is um, there it is this is designed for an offset install because you got the thicker bezel on the left, thinner one on the right. I'm hoping this is more of like a universal type deal, but 
I'm not sure. So I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Now you're probably uh, you've probably already got your Game Boy Advance taken apart at this stage. Um, so don't don't mind me. But I got a couple of other things I want to test out while I'm here. And uh, sorry for the noisy background. I got the 3D printer going right now. I'm trying to use up the last of my purple filament. Okay. So, I'm just going to leave it attached. I'm not going to bother separating it. Because with the wires soldered in place anyway, it's... <laughs> Not going to go very far. Okay, so to get this screen out, I'm going to use one of my plastic pry tools on this corner here. It just popped right up. Okay. So, set that aside for the moment. All right, let's get this. Actually, no, before I get that far, I'm going to detach the screen. So I want to try something out here. All right, so I guess that's another cool thing that the screen detaches from the ribbon itself. So you don't have to, if you do have your soldered in there, and you ever have to take it apart, yeah. Anyway, so this ribbon, or this bracket, excuse me, from retro modding, I spent probably an hour off camera, of course, trying to modify it to get it to fit properly. This was a bit of a mess, and uh, I seriously regret gluing it to this freaking screen. Well, not gluing it, but using some double-sided tape. And uh, I want to pull it off here because Retro Modding has since come out with a... Uh, or since uploaded a new bracket that looks like it should be a little bit better. Oof. That made me hella nervous. By the way, I heard from the uh, guy who runs Funny Playing that if you do manage to break your screen, which hopefully I didn't, but you know, you never know. You know, fuck up your install, drop your console, whatever. Uh, contact him, and he can sell you an extra screen without the ribbon and everything for a little bit cheaper than the price of the kit. I don't know specifically what that price is, but hopefully it's, it's not too bad. All right, doesn't look like I broke anything, so. Anyway, the whole point of that was this. So this is the newest version of the bracket. Um, today's the 20th, I believe. Retro modding just uploaded this today, and this is fresh off the printer here. I haven't even cleaned it up. Thought I had... Oh, it's right there. I was already prepared. I just didn't think I was. Okay. So on my printer here, it just left a little bit of a skirt on the bracket here. I'm going to clean this up real quick. And if you have your own printer, this is probably something you'll have to do. But I'm guessing if you order it from Retro Modding, they'll do this for you shouldn't have to clean it up. Anyway, the uh, what I'm hoping to test out here is uh, I want to see if this one requires as much or even any modification like the old one did. Okay, so I'm going to stick it to the screen just like I did the other one, though this time with significantly less tape. Already got a piece cut off. Let's 
and this goes on there just like that. So let me peel this off. Make sure you get it lined up in the corner as good as you can. Stick that on there. And I, I know it looks like there's a bit of a gap, but I think that's just a, an issue with my print itself. One of the walls got messed up there. But, if all goes as planned, it just drops right in there. Oh, that is so much better. Uh, retro modding, if you're watching this, I know she just subbed. Thanks, by the way. Um, good job on this new version of the bracket. This is so much better. Thank you for making it public, too, by the way. Alright, so, now that that's out of the way, what y'all came for. So, this is already cut out, or it should be, looks like it is. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but, uh, I don't know, that's why I'm trying to figure it out for y'all. Separated. Alright, so this middle part should come out. Don't really think you need it for anything. And then it should line up there. Ooh. Oh no, I think we should be good. If you have the bracket, that probably makes it a bit easier. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop this lens out because it's ratty and gross and I'm not going to be using it and it's so much easier to get it out while it's while there's nothing in there. And then to apply this, notice there's a, a thin bezel and then a thick bezel. The thick one goes on the left side here, but don't forget to peel that off. And uh, there we go. It's probably easier to apply this to the shell first. But I don't know that. I'm going to try and line it up with the corner of my bracket here. And then come around to the other side. Line up the other corner here. And then try and press it down flat. Alright. Peel that off. That looks, that looks pretty decent. Drop that in. I'm going to remove those buttons just for the moment. Right. That goes like that. I'm just going to make sure it's Press down nice and even. And then from here, you just uh, put your console back together and put your lens on. I'm not going to put my lens on yet because i got to clean this out. The easiest way to get this nice and clean is use, just hit it with a quick blast of compressed air, or if you have an air compressor, that's even better. I have neither, so I'm going to sit here and struggle with the uh, microfiber cloth for about half an hour after I finish up this video here. But we'll put it together first. Double check, make sure I didn't break any of them. Here, get this reconnected. It 
if you need to get your screen out of the casing for any reason without breaking either, you probably want to introduce a little bit of heat. So if you have a hair dryer, that's probably optimal. If you live in the middle of the frickin' desert like I do, just leave it in your car in the middle of the day. Uh, otherwise, if you're like me and you have um, a heat gun, that should work too. Just not up close. Put it on low. And I just put my fingers square smack dab in the middle of the screen, so now I have to clean that up too. <sighs> it's not one thing, it's another, right? Make sure you got your uh, LED light pipe in there. And start putting screws back in. also seen some mention um, regarding the trimming that I that you have to do to center the screen here if you're using retro modding's bracket it looks like you have to do a little bit more trimming than was in that guide I showed uh, you just have to move that that extra little piece of wall up here uh, someone was mentioning that if you do that you'll mess up your shoulder button I can't say that that's been my experience mine still seems to be working as it should. Uh, but, I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. Your mileage may vary. Or I could just be a complete moron. That too. Still have yet to rule that out. This one is this Phillips screw. Yeah, I definitely should put that lens on because guess where my fingers just went again? Oh well. Such is life. Can I be helped? And make sure I didn't break anything. There you go. your uh, new lens on there and call it a day um, so again like I was saying I'm still super impressed with this mod in every game except this one um, the brightness is absolutely fantastic I love the I love how adjustable it is it gets super bright or super dim uh, well past the AGS 101 the, uh, the backlit Game Boy Advance SP you know, it, in both directions really, it's brighter or it's dimmer because uh, you can't adjust it. And it's super easy to get that set up. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I'm happy with this mod. I really like it. I'm digging it. Uh, again, maybe not so much for 45 bucks, but for 35, it, definitely, absolutely. Um, 
I guess uh, if you guys have any other questions or any other games you all want me to test out, let me know. I'll be glad to spend a couple minutes playing and I'll uh, shoot some footage there. Because uh, you shouldn't have to play the guessing game, you know. Is my favorite game going to look like absolute shit on this screen? Uh, I, I don't think that's fair that they uh, shipped this kit that way. Um, but, you know, other, other than a few bad eggs, I like it. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night, and uh, keep being awesome.